When something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. Life is too short for long-term grudges. I'd rather be optimistic and wrong than pessimistic and right. Some people don't like change, but you need to embrace change if the alternative is disaster. I think it's very important to have a feedback loop, where you're constantly thinking about what you've done and how you could be doing it better. I think that's the single best piece of advice. Constantly think about how you could be doing things better and questioning yourself. If something's important enough, you should try. Even if, the probable outcome is failure. Patience is a virtue, and I'm learning patience. It's a tough lesson. If you get up in the morning and think the future is going to be better, it is a bright day. Otherwise, it's not. People should pursue what they're passionate about. That will make them happier than pretty much anything else. We're running the most dangerous experiment in history right now, which is to see how much carbon dioxide the atmosphere can handle before there is an environmental catastrophe. People work better when they know what the goal is and why. It is important that people look forward to coming to work in the morning and enjoy working. I think that's the single best piece of advice. Constantly think about how you could be doing things better and questioning yourself. It's very important to like the people you work with. Otherwise, your job is going to be quite miserable. I'm interested in things that change the world or that affect the future and wondrous new technology where you see it, and you're like, wow, how did that even happen? How is that possible? Really, the only thing that makes sense is to strive for greater collective enlightenment. There have to be reasons that you get up in the morning and you want to live. Why do you want to live? What's the point? What inspires you? What do you love about the future? If the future does not include being out there among the stars and being a multi-planet species, I find that incredibly depressing. I wouldn't say I have a lack of fear. In fact, I'd like my fear emotion to be less because it's very distracting and fries my nervous system. Man has the power to act as his own destroyer, and that is the way he has acted through most of his history.